the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. And I kindly, I kindly ask for all you new viewers, you know, if you are a new viewer, kindly help the show get up to 16 view or subscribers, 600 subscribers by the end of the year. That'd be nice. I'm not, I think we're like 15 away. So if you click, if you happen to tune on to the show, you're a Dominic Brazil fan or a Negron fan, or you just want to talk boxing, subscribe, help the show grow. I am your host, Mr. A. Now, Troubles was in the city, and we're not talking the Haven. We're not to, if you guys know that show, that show, I like sci fi, so if you guys know Haven, you know the Troubles. But we ain't talking Haven. We are not talking Haven. We are talking Dominic Brazil. Did he do enough to make you? Was that neck punch? Because <laughs> he knocked out Carlos. Negron with a neck punch, punched him in the neck, and like uh, he just like short circuit him. Cause I say up until like the fifth round, definitely like the first three rounds, I definitely give it to Carlos easily. He was surprisingly picking Dominic off nice moving taking small steps to the side you know but for a big man he was moving a lot you can see that you can see he, you can see uh, like this dude's beating the sh like he wasn't beating black and blue in Dominic Brazil up like not beating his ass like that but uh, boxing wise picking him apart he was beating his ass like damn these dude he's picking him apart landing some hard <laughs> left hooks to the body and he, and he, he gave him Dominic Brazil a little mouse under the eye. He was hitting clean shots on, on Dominic Brazil. But like around the fourth, fifth round, start kicking in. That movement, the ring generalship was just a, a lot for a big man. And Carlos eventually got tired down. The, the output dropped. And fifth, sixth round, the fight start going. The ones one motion machine Dominic Brazil with the pressure you know he starts that that right hand that he was going for start landing like I said even the, like I said the knockout punch it wasn't a clean shot you know he Carlos was tired he missed and here comes the right hand just Don, Dominic hits him right in the fucking neck and hits some nerve in his neck and just dude was out like hanging off the ropes and shit so like it's don't get me wrong, you know, as American, I want to see the Dominic Brazil and Wilder fight, you know, I want to see more American uh, heavyweight get it, get it on, you know, fuck it, whether it's Gerald Miller, Brian Jennings, um, Adam Nowalski, Miller, fucking Brazil, Andy Ruiz, just throw those names in there. Get them in there with Wilder. Get them in there with each other. I just want to see, as you know, you figure you got England's pot. Well, there is, mm, they got Joshua White, Chisora. Uh, they got Dubois out there. They got Gorman. So I guess, you know, it's the heavyweights is probably both continents right now kind of making the pool of it. I, I just want to see the heavyweights American wise just start going, go to town, you know, go go put 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 some put some noise in the fucking speaker box for American heavyweight boxing. But like that, did the did the neck punch tickle your funny bone for the fight? Did it, did it scratch your itch? Did it did it did entice you to see Wilder and Brazil? Like I said, even after the fight, he's going over to the ropes. De Dominic Brazil looking at Deontay Wilder talking shit. Wilder stands up, waves his hands. It's kind of hard to take a man and be like, like, yeah, talk that shit, Dominic. When the, the dude's right there with his wife and has his baby. It's like, are you, you talking shit to a man holding his kid? Yeah, at the time, he wasn't holding this kid when Dominic Brazil, but he, he was had the kid. Even during the interview, he's like, yeah, he better be holding that baby real tight because trouble's coming. And, and, and they, they just did the cameras on Deontay Wilder. He had this kid, like, 
like wrinkling his eyebrows, you know. For those who are who just listening to me and not watching the show, so it's, it's kind of hard to be jacked up, excited as a boxer. I'm like, yeah, talking that post fight shit. Dude, like, damn, dude, the champ had his kid, you know. And Dominic Brazil talks so. Yeah, I'm ready for Deontay. I've been here. Trouble is here. Like, man, like, talk your shit with a grunt or something, dude. But like I said, as the fight, it'll be interesting. You know, can Deontay Wilder, another big man, Dominic weighs like 256. Will Wilder be able to handle just that walk forward style coming forward? Uh, How much punishment will... Brazil will be able to take before he breaks Wilder down. You can see he's his defense hasn't improved since the loss of Joshua or the attempt the or the allowance to fight Joshua. You know his defense was shit then. His defense was shit fighting Joshua, and his defense is shit now. His defense is his offensive of pressure and his bombs. But then, like I said, as an American. I want to see the American heavyweight fight scene get a little more uh, adrenaline. So inject that needle in it. Let these motherfuckers line up. Give Deontay Wilder some competition. Help build his. Like I said, who gives a fuck, you know? Put him in the ring with him, you know? I get it. Everyone wants the fights with White and Chisora and AJ, whoever the fuck else is over in the UK. I get it. I want to see those fights too. But if he's our American champ, Start feeding his ass, you know? Tell him to open his mouth up and start feeding his ass competition, dude. Here, you, you're fighting Brian Jennings. Here, you're fighting Andrew Ruiz. Here, you're fighting fucking who? Dominic Brazil. You're going to fight these guys. Oh, shit, you know, there's no fight fucking Dylan White. Until then, start beating every fucking American. Beat the ass, fucking, you know? Double RT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you help the show get to 600. Please subscribe.